The same citrus trees that draw people to the Arcadia neighborhood have been drawing roof rats for years. And now they're hitting hard in Ahwatukee, Tempe, and Chandler. The saturation is basically all across the valley. Actually, there's no area in Maricopa County right now that won't be vulnerable to roof rats. The rats are nocturnal and spend nights moving around on electrical wires, eating, hollowing out fruit, hanging out in oleanders, and moving into your attic. But once they get in the attic, they're going to chew up wiring. They're going to do damage to the insulation. It's a problem you can't ignore. A female rat can produce a thousand offspring in just a year. So what should you do? The old conventional snap trap, that's great. But the real secret weapon for Phoenix, Arizona is going to be the pubs unit with the correct poison that you put in. Um, just one bite. It's a blood thinner. We're actually putting the rats to sleep. Hang it in your trees. They come and get a little bit to eat. Picking your trees also helps. You can donate the fruit to the Arcadia Citrus Program. They take it to local food banks. Alexis Vance, Fox 10 News. I'm just having flashbacks from a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that is, that is not fun. <laughs> when they were eating grapes on the counter in the kitchen. All right, the first sign a roof rat uh, is around is typically hollowed out citrus in your yard. That's a bad sign. Get myfoxphoenix.com on your iPhone free at the App Store and stay connected.